Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Take Two. Today we're continuing on with our Epic Games Dumpster Diving series and playing Nuclear Throne. This ought to be interesting. Ooh. Oh no, what have I done? I've gone too far. Oop, I forgot that was the roll button. I avoid hitting the... There we go. Alright, so far so good. Ooh, grenade launcher. Well, that's fun. We better save that for like a boss. And here we go. 30 shells. Oh, wait, there we go. There's a portal. World 1-2. Come here. Actually, I wonder if I keep... Oh, I guess I do. There we go. Oh, sir. You go away. Dang. Shotgun could be good. Ooh, and they bounce, too. Nice. There we go. Why that miss? Oh, it actually carves a way through the infrastructure. Okay. Ooh. Go away. Thank you. Oh no, I didn't get a chance to get the chest. Ooh, selective mutation. Kills lower reload time. Kills regenerate ammo. Corpses fly and hit harder. Or prevent death once. Recharges at full HP in the next area. Well, we are at half health. Hmm. I am curious, though, about what corpses flying faster does. This just sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I actually have this roll option. So is that just money, or does that do something? Whoops. Alright, let's get this chest first. Oh, there we go. Ooh. No, I got- oh, you get actually pulled in. Alright, let's see. Mutate later. Full HP and some ammo. Plus four. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's do that then. Right, let's try this. Oh. Oh. And I did it again. Machine gun. Oh, so that'll be a good one to replace. Shotgun. Mostly because there's going to be a boss in this stage. Hey, guys. I also like this guy because you get all those maggot features. I need to one that help you up there he is. Oh no. There's a good stun rocket. There we go. And that's for having all those extra drops in my hand. Get out of there. Thank you. Ooh. Oh my god. What on earth? Oh, that could have been. Oh, I could really use some extra ammo drop. Oh, that's cool. No, 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 no. I refuse to end the run like that. No health. Alright, this isn't good. Where are the rest of the enemies? Oh, wait, I came from up there. So I guess this way? Max energy. Alright, well now we're on the next world. Oh. Not the rat. Right. What killed me? Oh, I stepped in some acid. Are you serious? Alright, 
Explosion ability is so good. Like, even when I'm off of aiming, I can just kind of kill one of the weaker enemies and then look, blow them up. Just like that. Wait, did I miss a chest? No, I guess not. This is heavy crossbow dash. New area, 3 1. Ooh, what's happening here? Oh, shit, what the heck? Ooh. Why, oh, they got, oh, they got some big boy attacks. Alright, now I'm kind of wishing I had some, uh, better weapons. Okay, let's get them close enough, I could, yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. No health, really? Oh, this isn't good. Flame shotgun, let's see what this does. Oh, they kind of fly away. Come on, I need health back, guys, please. Ooh, I'm on such low health. Oh my gosh, this is not good. I'm gonna see if I can run away. Oh. oh, his stupid little guy. Alright, this is the one I can feel it. Ooh. Right when I say that, I oh, die. Stop. I'm being pinned down right now. I do not ever have the ability that lets me get bigger uh, close explosions. Oh, that's new. I don't think I've seen a trap before in this area. And we have the quicker regen HP. Which is going to be very handy for this. Oh, okay. That's done. Please, for the love of God. I want to make it past this world. Just once. I'm gonna blow it up just in case. Alright, let's see. Oh hey, that was it. Oh, was it for the shotgun? Ah, oh, well we might as well because we don't have any ammo right now. We get kills, we lower, energy weapons deal more damage. Sure, why not? Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about, with the enemies spawn, like, right next to you. But I am glad that we now have extra damage with the enemy enemy weapons. I don't think so. Nope, see. Mm. We are also only at 2 HP, so... Come on, here we go. Now, last time I hit one of those things, it sent a bunch of cops after me who were not friendly. Oh god, please don't do that. I, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, last time, this is what killed me when I did that. See, one time I didn't do that, and uh, they turned out to be... Oh, that's nice. Oh, you get extra rats from it. And... I see. Oh, 
What the heck? What was the last enemy? Hello everyone, so this is going to bring us to the review section for Nuclear Throne. And I'd like to start off by saying that this was a very fun game. It had a great gameplay cycle with actually interesting upgrades and mutations and even cool enemy designs and abilities. However, I would like to say that there are some things that would probably be a big drawback from playing this game. One being that you have no temporary invincibility, which means when one enemy spams bullets, you will get hit by all of them all at once in a cluster because you don't get any sort of invincibility when the first one hits you. Next, because the levels are procedurally generated, that means that sometimes you'll spawn this big open area with five enemies who are automatically swarming you right when you load in, even if your screen hasn't had a chance to fully catch up yet. And as a result of those generated levels, sometimes you'll end up with areas where everything's just a single block wide and at a weird angle, making it nearly impossible to fire a gun through and causing you to have to almost all but guaranteed take damage. But overall, I had a lot of fun with this game, and even though I never reached the end of it, I definitely would enjoy this game and keep playing it. And if you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.